All right, guys, picked up $100 in nickels. We're gonna go ahead and open it up. And, uh, Pretty annoying is pretty annoying. So open. Let's get the tape all the way from the sides. Alright, there we go. And they're not all circulated. We're gonna hop right into it. Alright guys, we're 18 rolls in. And I literally just said this was a boring box and very uneventful. I open up the next roll and there's a buffalo, but that's not it. It's got a S mint mark. All right, let's see. I'm excited. 1937. Awesome. Really, really nice there. It's in okay shape, but I'll take a mint marked buffalo any day. And it's got a date too, so. Sweet. We will keep going. All right, guys, we're 26 rolls in, and guess what? Another 1937. Don't know if it's another S, though. Let's see. Nope. A plane. If you get, uh, hopefully we'll get um, all the mint marks. That would be cool. We'll keep going. Alright, guys. We're 27 rolls in. Very next roll. And look at that. We've got a 39. I've already looked at the back, and it's a 39 Denver. And it's in awesome shape, too. Probably extra fine. Sweet. That thing is in amazing condition. Awesome. We are going to keep going. All right, guys, we got seven rolls left. That means we're 43 rolls in. And we have our first silver nickel on the box. San Francisco Mint Mark, 1943. Pretty worn out, but I'll take it. Let's keep going. All right, guys, we have three rolls left. That means we're 47 rolls in. And just popped another silver. Second silver on the box. It's a 1943 Philadelphia. We'll keep going. All right, guys, we're in the last two rolls. This one is a 1955 Ender. You can't see it, so we'll do that one last. Um, here we go. Got one already, I saw. Right off the bat, 48D. And 64. And it's going to be a front row. And the very last roll, it's the 55 Ender. Denver Mint. One looks old. Nope, just a 61. Um, I think that's gonna be it. We'll get to what we found. Alright, guys, here's your found. We're gonna start up here. We have some uncirculated ocean and view. Or not ocean and view, but like westward journey stuff. We got a buffalo nickel and a the handshake one, don't know the names. We have an uncirculated 68S, it's not a proof. Um, we have a 64, 63. Over here we've got some weird ones. We've got this weird tone 87. I don't know if it's improper annealing, I doubt it though. And then this one looks like post mint damage, like acid or something, but I thought it looked cool, so set it aside. The 2009s, we have four, all Denver, and down here for the old Jeffersons, um, we have 59 Denver, four 58 Denvers, three 57 Denvers, 57 plane, 55 Denver, 55 plane, 54 Denver, 54 S, 52 Denver, 52 plane, 
49 Denver, 48 Denver, 47 Denver, uh, 42 plane, 241 planes, 40 plane, and the oldest is a 39 plane. Now, down here we have a lot of stuff, so um, we'll go ahead and start over here. We have this 48, and I realized when I was, actually when I was sorting these, putting them in order, that it had a die crack right there on the chin. Really neat to find something like that. It's pretty sweet. Um, we have this 58. Oop. Plane. And I think it might be a Black Beauty. I'm not sure. Um, but it's like... Here, I'll bring this over. It looks a little different. And it's also in real nice shape, so it's cool. Uh, we've got a fifty or a thirty-nine Denver, which is the rarest year for thirty-nine or the rarest mint mark for thirty-nine. Really cool. I bet it's like I'm sure it's like five, maybe five to ten bucks. Pretty cool. We've got um, two Warnicles. You've got a 43S and a 43P. We've got two Buffaloes, too. Both 37s, and this one is San Francisco Mint Mark. Pretty awesome to find this much stuff in one box. So if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.